Hello everyone. Hope you are safe and doing good. In today's class, we are going to redraw previous problem in new position. In new position means in today's class, we'll assume that two opposite sides of the hexagonal nut are perpendicular to VP. So the problem is same. A new condition is now these two sides these two sides are perpendicular to VP like this. So from the front, these two faces are visible faces and top will be like this. So this is our new position. So in this position, today we are going to draw this problem. Again, I am reading this problem for you. Draw two scale 1 is to 1, the front view and top view of a hexagonal nut of diameter 25 mm keeping the axis perpendicular to HP gives standard dimensions now specific condition two opposite sides of the hexagon perpendicular to VP now for this condition first of all we are required to calculate all standard dimensions so first is B given diameter is 25 mm then next is 0. 8 of P. Point 0.8 of P is 20 mm. Next, 1.5 T plus 3. 1.5 T plus 3 is the diameter of chamfering circle. 40.5 or construction 40 mm. And last is radius of chamfering radius of chamfering in this case will be equal to b so the value is 25 mm after standard dimensions a reference line first reference x y parallel to base edge of your sheet or base reference of your sheet then draw a vertical line because axis is perpendicular to HP so draw vertical axis of hexagonal nut like this then draw another line parallel to its side representing center line center line for its top view. Now we know that diameter of first, second and third circle. Diameter of first circle is 0.8 D, 20 mm, D, 25 mm and diameter of chamfering circle is 40.5 or 40 mm. So from this center, draw three concentric circles of dia 20 mm. First circle of dia 20 mm the complete and dark circle so draw first circle with dia 20 mm complete and dark second circle with dia 25 incomplete and medium dark so please use H pencil or second circle Right. And for third circle, chamfering circle, again use dark pencil. And the diameter is 40 mm. Third circle with dia 40 mm. Now for hexagon, two opposite sides of the hexagon perpendicular to VP. So two opposite sides, two opposite parallel sides of the hexagon are perpendicular to VP. This is the position. So we have to start from these two sides. What to do? Mark equal angles of 30. Mark equal angles of 30 from XY line or from center line. Here and draw lines. An angle of thirty. Draw lines at an angle of thirty. From the 
the center of the top view right so these are two lines helping lines at an angle of 30 30 30 from central horizontal axis now from this point from this point from extreme left point on the chamfering circle draw line parallel to central vertical axis to intersect these two lines so these are end limits of first side repeat this process on the right side draw a vertical line vertical line parallel to solid axis a vertical axis from this point to intersect these two lines now these two sides first side and second side these two sides are equal in length and these two sides are opposite parallel sides of hexagon or hexagonal nut next from this point draw another line touching or passing through chamfering circle tangentially like this similarly from this point draw a line passing through chamfering circle tangentially repeat this process for remaining two sides draw a line draw a line passing through chamfering circle or touching chamfering circle tangentially and this will be the last or final side but here my circle is not accurate so I have to modify it right now we have all six sides of hexagon please use dark pencil for sides of hexagon these are dark visible outlines sides of hexagon please use dark pencil use dark pencil for chamfering circle dark pencil for first circle of dia point a d next please project limits of hexagonal nut for a height of d d or equals to t. We know that t is equals to d in this case. So project all three end limits and draw a line parallel to x y passing through these three points. Now in this position, this is my first face, this face on front view, and this face on front view. So what you have to do is you have to draw upper arc and for upper arc the radius radius is equals to d. So for construction of upper arc first of all bisect its length and draw central axis central axis or just mark midpoints of these two sides so this point is the midpoint of this side and this point is the midpoint of this side right then this point is center midpoint of this side is center and from this point to this point height is equals to t t is equals to d equals to 25 so 25 as radius draw a smooth arc. Again, this point as center, this much as radius, radius equals to 25, smooth arc, like this. And please use the pencil, then show all visible edges. 
So these are visible sides or visible edges of hexagonal mat. And in this position, upper curved and sharp corners are visible. So we have to show all visible sharp corners. Last step, catch limits of these two circles with a pointed D and D or threaded hole or threaded cavity. These are hidden lines, dark hidden line. From second limit, internal thread, in on right side. Just catch this limit or simply project its benefit. Right. Next for dimensioning draw dimensioning lines using light pencil. These are dimensioning lines. For diameter D and for diameter point of D. So this diameter is dia zero point eight of D. D and third diameter diameter of chamfering circle is diameter of chamfering circle is one point five D plus three dia one point five D plus three and height of the nut, height of the nut is A equals to D. And last radius. So from the center line, this is the first point, and this is the radius. to D, R equals to D. Next please for standard table or dimension or dimensioning table. for heading
So this is the final answer of this problem with new condition to opposite sides of the hexagon perpendicular to VP. I'll request you to please draw this problem on your sheet. Start from its top view, the first circle, second circle and third circle, second circle is incomplete. This part is incomplete in first quadrant, then hexagonal part, then project its front view. Please use proper pencil. Color code is green color is for light pencil. Please use 2H pencil. White color is for H pencil. And for dark HB pencil, I have used yellow color. Then please draw table for standard dimensions and write heading of your drawing hexagonal length. And if you have any problem, any doubt in any of the question in machine drawing or in engineering graphics, please write your comments in the comment box. Thank you.